Hey everybody, it's Garrett from At Go With Garrett. I recently took a trip to Ikea, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five Ikea hacks to create affordable yet stylish home decor for your space. Before we get into the video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I would greatly appreciate having you here. Now, let's get into these Ikea hacks. Project number one, we're starting with these Vitnapa kitchen towels. I got these in the marketplace area in the kitchen section and they were $9.99 each. I love the pattern on these, so we're going to turn them into our very own pillowcase. Now, of course, Ikea has tons of pillows and pillowcases to choose from, but if you want to create one that not everybody will have, you can do that with some kitchen towels. Off camera, I ironed out all the wrinkles from each towel. Then I brought the two towels together facing each other so that the pattern side is on the inside. Once we have our kitchen towels lined up as best we can, we are going to fold down the top towel just a bit and start to apply hot glue to the very edge of the bottom towel and secure the two together with some good old hot glue. Typically I use Gorilla hot glue sticks when I make my little kitchen towel pillows and that has proved to provide a pretty secure hold. I've even put them in the washing machine and they have stayed together. So I definitely recommend Gorilla hot glue sticks or sewing these would be the most secure option if you have a sewing machine. On the last side, we only want to glue up about halfway or maybe about two thirds of the way up. So we still have a generous opening that we can reach into and basically flip the pillow inside out so that the pattern side is now on the outside. And through the opening that we still have in the pillowcase, you could very easily stuff it with some polyfill that you can get from Walmart or the craft store. But I happen to have a spare pillow, so I just opened up the last side all the way again and very carefully inserted the pillow into the pillowcase. I hot glued the last side back together, made sure our pillow was nice and secure and fluffed it up a bit, and that completes this project. For our second project, we're going to be taking these two very inexpensive planter pots. These are the Bentji planter pots, and these were actually only 79 cents each. They're super simple and cute, but we're going to be turning them into a stylish little planter. I have some crafter sand I'm also going to be using for this project. You could use sand, rocks, any type of filler you would like. And I'll also be using a little E6000. We're going to take the E6000 and apply some around the rim of the bottom of one of the pots and then very carefully align the other pot on top to create this stacked effect. I placed the container of sand into the top planter to serve as a weight and kind of hold it down as it dries. Once dried, you could totally leave this as it is for the metallic look, but I'm going to be taking some black Rust-Oleum spray paint in a flat finish to give this piece a nice good coating and just give it a different vibe. Once that dried, I brought it back inside and went ahead and poured the sand into the top pot. A good idea for this would be to maybe put some tea light candles on top of the sand and have kind of a candle lit moment, but I didn't have any handy so I'm going to be taking these faux succulents that I already had on hand from Dollar Tree and just place those right into the sand so that we have a simple yet stylish planter decor piece and that completes this project. Project number three is another super easy hack. We're gonna take the Ordning kitchen utensil holder that has this metal, almost industrial kind of look to it and give it a very quick makeover. All we're gonna do is take our black Rust-Oleum spray paint with a flat finish and give this piece a good once over. And that's really all it takes to turn this piece into a stylish outdoor lantern. I placed a candle inside, lit it up, and it creates the perfect ambiance for an outdoor space.
Project number four is probably one of my favorites. If you've seen my most recent Dollar Tree DIY video, you might recognize the shape that this project will take, but for this one we are going to be using the IKEA Up to Terra storage crates. These were $13.99 each and I got four. As you can see, they are made of this lighter color bamboo material and I love them as they are so we won't be needing any spray paint for this project. We will, however, need some Gorilla wood glue to put this project together. To get this project started, we are going to apply some wood glue to the shorter end of one of the crates, the side with the opening, as you can see here, and then we are going to align that side so that it is flush with the very edge of the longer side of another crate. In order to keep everything secure and together while the glue dries, I am using these clamps from Home Depot. They are super affordable, only 98 cents each, and I got four, and they're the perfect size for this project. I continued the same process with the other storage crates, applying wood glue and attaching them together until we got this pieced together square of a storage unit. I've always enjoyed this shape and the look of this project. I've made it a few times before with Dollar Tree crates, but I'm obsessed with how this turned out on a larger scale. Perfect for storing or displaying books and decor, and it can either stand alone or be hung up on the wall. For our fifth and final IKEA hack, we're going to create our very own DIY floor mat. I love that IKEA has these blank trampa mats. They're only $8.99 and there are endless possibilities of what you can create on these. I'm taking some frog tape to create a checkered pattern on my floor mat. In order to create kind of a consistent pattern, I am first applying a long strip to the left hand side of the mat and then using a shorter piece of tape to serve as a spacer between the longer strips as I go across. Then I did the same thing going from top to bottom, but I started with the spacer piece first and then alternated going down. From there I am taking a few different colored spray paints that I have on hand. Satin Merengue and Satin Pistachio by Krylon and Rustic Pink by Rust-Oleum. I'm going to create this kind of color gradient effect going diagonally across the mat. In order to do that I applied the Satin Pistachio spray paint across one of the corners of the mat and then I went through the middle with the Rustic Pink and I finished off by covering the other corner with the Satin Merengue. I applied two coats to get a good saturation of color and once dried I brought it inside to remove the tape and reveal this super chic Urban Outfitters-esque floor mat. I love how this one turned out. All right, everybody, that completes this video. Let me know which IKEA hack was your favorite in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with someone who you think might also enjoy it. And please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate having you here. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see y'all in the next one.